Lesson seven, rhythmic notation guidelines. We're getting into the nitty gritty of stuff on here. The point of this is to make sure we're writing things as clear, clearly as possible. We wanna make things very simple, uh, especially if we're giving this to someone to sight read for the first time. Don't make it any harder than it has to be. So, some basic guidelines. Our first guideline, it's usually better to use one note or rest of a longer duration and to tie together two or more smaller values. How does that look? All right, so what we have are two beats of sound and then a half rest. So those beats are tied together using two quarter notes. But using our guideline, we want to make use one note if possible rather than two and tie those together. There we go. Rather than tying two quarter notes, we can get the same sound and duration using one half note. Correct? Incorrect. Let's check out another one. In this example, we're going to have a quarter note tied to an eighth note. Not the end of the world if we write it like that, but there is a better way. So we need three beats, three eighth notes, and we can achieve that with a dotted quarter note. So again, two beats connected or one beat by itself. Correct? There's a better way to write that. All right, let's look at this with rests. Same thing applies. So there, it's only being played on beat one, and we have three quarter note rests, but let's simplify that. All right, there's beat two, and then two quarter note rests are the same space as a half rest. Simplify your notation. Our second guideline, we talked about this in class. Think of each measure of 4-4 four, four as being divided into two equal halves between beats two and three. So the first half is one and two. Division beats three and four. Okay, we have four beats that are written here, but the division is happening right in the middle of that half rest. So let's reorganize that. Quarter note, let's move the quarter rest over. And there we go. And now we have one, two, clear division, three and four. Correct? Little confusing to read. Next up, let's do the same with a dotted quarter note. Very confusing to read. Where are the beats? Where's the pulse? Where are those quarter notes? Where do those exist in this measure? I'm not really sure. That is a question mark. <laughs> the better way to write this dotted quarter note, eighth rest, so that's one and two and, another eighth rest, and then finish out with her dotted quarter note, three and four and, because the way this looks over here, we have one and two and three, so that quarter rest takes up that middle section there, and that's where the confusion comes in. But this has a very clear distinction, one, two, three, four. Our third guideline, only half notes or larger can be written over the imaginary line between beats two and three. Let's take a look, our first example. We have our dotted half note, so that's getting one, two, three beats and four on our quarter note. That's totally fine. Taking a look at another example. Dotted half note is on beats two. Again, that's cutting the beat right in the middle. Not to worry, you can do that. One of the things that this doesn't apply to is rests. So if we look at that, Pretty confusing. Beat three is split right in the middle. Better way to write that. 
One, two, three, four. Clear distinction between the first half and the second half of the measure.